Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. And a very good evening to everyone. So we will start the class with the Mul Kitab Al Fatiha. Okay, so let's continue our lessons uh, on week three. So uh, today starting with, with week, week three. So we will see the chapter uh, chapter three uh, onwards. Uh, so on the topics of uh, project and motions. So let's take a look at what uh, the video. Let, let, let's watch the video together, right? <clears throat> Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Zuhair Nizam bin Madarus. Today we will continue chapter 3 motion in two dimensions. In this section we will cover sub chapter 3.1 and 3.2. 3.1 is displacement, velocity and acceleration in two dimension. And 3.2 is two dimensional motion. Learning outcome. First, define distance, displacement, average speed and average velocity and average acceleration. Second, to describe projectile motion, launch at different angle and high in two dimension graphically. Third, to solve two dimensional problem by applying kinematic equation of motion with constant accelerations. Motion in two dimension by using positive or negative sign is not always sufficient to fully describe motion in more than one dimension. So factor can be used to more fully describe motion. And we still interested in displacement, velocity and acceleration. Displacement. Look at the figure. The position of an object is described by its position vector r. And the displacement of the object is defined as the change in its position delta r equal rf minus ri. rf is final position and ri is initial position. Unit of the displacement is meter. Velocity. The average velocity is the ratio of the displacement to the time interval for the displacement. V average equal to delta R over delta T. And the instantaneous velocity is the limit of the average velocity as delta t approach to zero. And the direction of the instantaneous velocity is along a line that is a tangent to the path of the particle and in direction of motion. The unit of velocity is a meter per second. M over S. Accelerations. The average acceleration is defined as the rate which velocity change. A average equal to delta V over delta T. And the instantaneous acceleration is the limit of the average acceleration as delta t approach to zero and unit of the acceleration is meter per second square or meter m per s square the summary of the unit for displacement is meter Average velocity and instantaneous velocity is meter per second and average acceleration 
and instantaneous acceleration is a meter per second square. Where an object might accelerate. The magnitude of the velocity or the speed may change with time, and direction of the velocity may change with time even though the magnitude is constant. Both the magnitude and direction may change with time. Projectile motion. Projectile motion is motion in two dimensions, which means at any point all the quantities, velocity and displacement can be resolved into two components. That is the horizontal and vertical component. At the initial point, the component of initial velocity u or v naught can be resolved into two components. That is v naught cos theta has the horizontal component and v naught sin theta has the vertical component. Assumption of projectile motion. First, we may ignore air friction. Second, we may ignore the rotation of the Earth. With this assumption, an object in projectile motion will follow a parabolic path. Rule of projectile motion. The x and y direction of motion are completely independent of each other. The x direction is uniform motion where ax equal to 0. And the y direction is free fall where ay equal to negative g. And the initial velocity can be broken down into its x and y component. v not x equal v not cos theta is a x component and y component is v not y equal v not sin theta. Look at the diagram. The particle that leave the origin with a velocity of v not not that v change with time however the x component of the velocity vx remain constant in time equal to its initial velocity v not x also vy equal to zero at the peak of trajectory but the acceleration is always equal to the free fall acceleration and acts vertically downward the figure show that the projectile motion at various initial angle complementary value of the initial angle result in the same range the height will be different and the maximum range occurs at a projection angle of 45 degree this is the summary of the projectile motion x direction a x equal to zero v x equal v not x equal v not cos theta equal to constant and x equal v not x time t this is the only operative equation in the x direction since there is any form velocity in that direction and in y direction v not y equal to v not sine theta and this is a free fall problem therefore a equal to negative g and take the positive direction as upward and uniformly accelerated 
accelerated motion. So the motion equation are full. And the velocity of the projectile at any point of its motion is the vector sum of its x and y component at that point where v equal square root vx square plus vy square and the angle theta is ta inverse tangent vy over vx and you have to re remember to be careful about the angle of quadrant and the summary provided air resistance is negligible the horizontal component of the velocity remain constant therefore ax equal to zero and the vertical component of the acceleration is equal to the free fall acceleration therefore equal to negative g or negative gravity and the acceleration in the y direction is not zero at the top of the projectile trajectory the vertical component of the velocity vy and the displacement in the y direction are identical to those of freely falling body and the projectile motion can be described as a superposition of two independent motion in the x and y directions this is the strategy to solve a problem first you have to select a coordinate system and sketch the path of the projectile include initial and final position velocity and acceleration after that resolve the initial velocity into x and y component and then treat the horizontal and vertical motion independently follow the technique for solving problem with constant velocity to analyze the horizontal motion of the projectile and follow the technique for solving problem with a constant acceleration to analyze the vertical motion of the projectile some variation of projectile motion an object may be fired horizontally and the initial velocity is all in the x direction v not equal to vx and vy equal to zero after that all the general rule of projectile motions apply look the example 3.2 in your textbook stranded explorer the goal of this example is to solve a two-dimensional projectile motion problem in which an object has an initial horizontally velocity the problem a rescue plan drop a package of emergency ration to hiker stranded in the Australian outback as shown in figure. The plane is traveling horizontally at 40 meter per second at height of 1 times 10 to the power of 2 meter above the ground. Neglect air resistance A where does the package strike the ground relative to the point at which it was released b what are the horizontal and vertical component of velocity of package just before it hit the ground and c what the angle of the impacts okay first find the range of package use the equation delta y equal y minus y naught equal v naught yt minus half gt square 
and then substitute y not equal to zero and v not y equal to zero and set y equal negative one times ten to the power of two meter. And then the final vertical position of the package relative to the A plane soft and for soft for the time. Use equation delta x equal x minus x naught equal v naught x time t. And then substitute x naught equal to zero v naught x equal to 40 meter per second and the time 4.52 second and the answer is 181 meter for b find the component of the package velocity at impact package velocity at impact and Find the x component of velocity at the time of impacts. So Vx eh, from equation Vx equal V naught cos theta equal 40 meter per second cos kosong or oh, sorry cos zero equal 40 meter per second. And Vy equal V naught sin theta minus Gt equal 0 minus 980 meter per second square and time 4.52 second so we have negative 44.3 meter per second and c find the angle of the impacts okay and tangent theta equal vy over vx equal negative 44.3 meter per second over 40 meter per second and we have negative 1.11 to find the theta Apply the inverse tangent function to both sides. Therefore, theta equal negative 1, sorry, theta equal inverse tangent negative 1.11. So, we have negative 48.0 degree. For non-symmetrical projectile motion, follow, we have to follow the general rule for the projectile motion and break the y direction into part, up and down, and symmetrical back to initial height and then the rest of the height. Look at the example 3.5 in your textbook page. 67. Example, a golf ball leaves the ground with a speed of 30 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree above the horizontal. Calculate the horizontal and vertical component of initial velocity the velocity at the height of 5 meter above the ground, the maximum height and the coordinate at that point, the time of flight and the range of projectile and coordinate at that point. Solutions. Horizontal component of velocity. Okay, so let's stop from there so i will continue um, explaining okay or the rest of the part to you so basically this is the projectile motion so when you have a projectile motion meaning that the motion now uh, have been divided or should uh, or actually the motion now will involve x axis 
and y exists simultaneously okey pada masa yang sama x dan y exists akan ada so meaning that uh, in your own words we can see that uh, you do have motion, right? We already learned motion in one dimensions, uh, such as we already did uh, in the tutorial one, the tutorial two. So meaning that you do all the motions, but only involve one exists at one time, okay? And you involve part C X sahaja, ataupun involve part C Y sahaja. Okay, the free fall, it will be part C Y. Okay, X and Y exists, okay? So that is the only things that we want to discuss in the motion in one dimension but in two dimensions you can expect that all examples or all uh, equations now should be double okay all equations should be in terms of x axis and also in terms of y axis okay so let's me uh, let me do it for you <clears throat> Okay, so basically, <clears throat> the projectile will come um, will come in a, in a, in a many ways, such as if you do have a problem when you throwing a ball okay, with a certain at a certain angle. Okay, you throw the ball with an initial velocity at a certain angle. Let's say thirty degrees. Okay, the projectile also can be uh, assuming that uh, when you throw the ball, the ball will create a parabolic path like this. Okay, and bentuk parabola. Okay, so this one meaning that this one is y axis and x axis. Okay, so meaning that all the ball will move. Uh, okay, if you can see here, the ball will move. Uh, specifically in x and y exist simultaneously okay x and y exist simultaneously so all equations that in, well, we already learned before this should be in x and also y y exist okay so maybe you can have uh, maybe uh, this one is also part of the projectile maybe you are on the edge of the roof okay let's say throwing a ball okay throwing a ball like this meaning that here you have v naught and you have theta okay so that one should also give you uh, a projectile motions uh, maybe you throw a ball or you throw an object uh, to the horizontal okay remember eh? throwing a ball horizontally so meaning that you throw the ball horizontal so if you can see here you when you throw the ball v naught okay you throw the ball horizontally uh, meaning that they sama dengan x is x okay the ball will occasionally drop at certain point okay so this one is also involved uh projectile okay and maybe <clears throat> You have a uh, dropping, okay? You bounce, okay? Let's say you play basketball, okay? You play basketball, you try to bounce, meaning that you occasionally try to make sure that the ball bounces. Okay, this one also involves projectile. Okay, but this one, if you look carefully, uh, this one theta will be zero. Okay, this one got theta. This one have theta. <coughs> and this one have theta. Okay, so when we try to deal with uh, uh, projectiles, uh, uh, normally, okay, you will see a lot of angle involved. Okay, so that will be projectile motions. Okay. So apart from that, so right now we want to uh, make sure that uh, do some recap on whatever we have uh, in motion in one dimension. So for example, we have V equals to V naught plus <clears throat> AT. Okay, 
V is final velocity, V0 is initial velocity, A is acceleration, and time is T. So what happens if we try to expand uh, this equation in terms of X and Y axis? So let's do some expansion. So what will happen? So in X axis, it will be like Vx equivalent to v not x plus a x t okay so you can see uh, we put uh, a subscript of x to each uh, value except for time uh, kecuali masa masa dia tidak ada x dan tidak ada y sebab masa is independent uh, uh, independent variables okay so masa masa tidak akan kira dia y ke dia x ke masa tidak akan dia ambil kira Tapi untuk term-term lain Vx dia akan jadi V yang dekat atas dah, Dia jadi Vx V0 dekat atas dia jadi V0x A dia jadi Ax Okay so Y ha, Kita boleh buat lah Y equals to V0y plus Ay T Right So Vy equals to V0y T Right so this one is for the uh, equation number one, how about equation number two? Uh, v square equals to V naught square plus 2A delta X, for example, okay? So, in terms of X and Y is this, so what would it have? Okay, how to? So, this one should be Vx square equals to V naught square, uh, V naught X square plus 2AX delta X. Okay, and for Vy, we become Vy square equals to V dot Y square plus 2Ay delta Y. <coughs> and of course, uh, so this is equation number one, number two, and number three, I'll do it here, okay? So, x is equivalent to x naught plus v naught x, uh, v naught t plus half a t squared. So, in terms of x and y, what will happen? Okay, this one will become x equals to x naught plus v not x t plus half a x t square and for y y equals to y not plus v not y t plus half a y t square okay so that that's how you expand okay you are trying to expand this one okay the blue on the blue box okay so this is the original equations, equations of motion. We have three equations of motion. Why color it in blue? And you, okay, already expand uh, the, the equations in terms of X and Y. But for projectile, for the purpose of projectile, okay, remember this thing. Okay, uh, AX is equivalent to zero while ay is equivalent to negative g okay ax will equivalent to zero and ay is equivalent to negative g while for v not x is actually equivalent to v not cos theta while v not y is actually equivalent to v not sine theta okay so the projectile now is uh, where you have to now derive a new equations from the six now so you can see here let's say for the equation number one vx okay vx equals to v dot x plus axt so you will cancel this thing because ax now be zero so this one becomes zero this one also zero and this one also zero okay and you can write down it as y. So let's say this one we got vx equals to v dot x. Okay. And for second equation, 
vx square equals to v dot x square. <coughs> and for the third equation, it becomes x equals to x naught plus v naught x t. Okay, and for uh, y, okay, for y, uh, so we can see ay is equivalent to negative g, so this one become negative gt, this one also become negative g, this one also become negative g, so what will happen? So we try to rewrite back by equals to v not y minus gt, this one py square equals to v dot y square minus 2g delta y. And what happens is uh, y equals to y naught plus v naught y t minus half g t square. Okay, so the 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 uh, the red color equations is what we call as a projectile motions equations. Okay, so you actually you don't have to uh, memorize all these things because, but you have to know uh, how to derive the equations. It starts from the original equations, then you try to expand the equations, and well, probably using the projectile motions, you are probably using ax equals to zero and ay equals to negative g. So try to okay uh, derive a new equations because. That will give you a six sets of equations such as, okay, can we write back a vx, vx equals to v not x, vx square equals to v not x square, <coughs> x equivalent to x not plus v not x t, and for y we have vy equals to v not y minus gt. We also have py square equals to v dot y square minus 2g delta y. And this one y is equivalent to y dot v dot yt minus half gt square. So we have about six equations, new equations that should fit uh, the problems in projectile. Okay. So as for now, ada 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 problem tak? Ada nak tanya apa-apa tak? Sebelum saya pergi kepada contoh, you have a question? Tak ada sir. Tak ada lagi. Boleh faham ya? Eh? Okay. Okay. So cuba kita tengok contoh yang diberikan dalam tutup uh, tadi ya eh? dalam dalam soalan tadi Okay Okay, try to uh, Okay Please snap the quest this question Okay, tolong snap soalan ni Dan kita akan buat Okay For, for example, eh? a golf ball leave the ground with a speed of 30 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree above the horizontal. Calculate A, for number one, the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. Number two, the velocity at the height of 5 meters above the ground. And three, the maximum height. And the coordinate at that point, the time of flight, and the range of the projectile, and the coordinate depth of that point. Okay, so snap lah. Okay, please snap dulu. Nanti saya akan stop kan untuk saya terangkan. Right. <coughs> so let's look at this uh, for example. Eh. Okay. So if you do have a problem, okay. Uh, before we start with the uh, problems, as uh, so please understand the concepts of projectile. The projectile is all about x and y axis. So if you do have a one object that you project at v naught, okay, so have a theta over here, so definitely this object will be launched uh, with a certain, uh, like a parabolic path like this. 
Okay, so when the object is launched at certain angle, and of course it, it land uh, on the same level as uh, 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 as what the uh, the object launch. So we can easily say that this one is the symmetrical motion. Okay, symmetrical motions. Right. So what actually happens uh, in every pathway? Okay. So let's look. The object is going at this point. Okay, and of course it reached the maximum height. Okay, this is. And now it goes back. Okay, and then finally reach the final point. Okay, so what happened is from the each uh, uh, each uh, motions. Okay, so let's look at the example in V naught. So when you have V naught, definitely V naught is a vector. So when V naught is a vector, so V naught must have V naught x, and of course. V naught must have V naught Y. So that's why we can get V naught X equivalent to V naught cos theta and V naught Y is equivalent to V naught uh, sine theta. Okay, why? Because we have to consider the angle. Okay, so when it will launch, meaning that it also will move in y and also x exists simultaneously so that's why we call we call it as a motion in two dimensions so uh, in position number two okay you can see that the object have its own velocity okay, it's not it's, it's no longer called v naught but we should call it as v okay a v so v naught v naught now have become v so v is what v must have a v x and also have v not y. Sorry, v y. Okay, it's no longer v not y. Eh? It should be v x and v y. So when you reach the maximum height, when you reach the maximum height, okay. Now we, the only velocity that uh, v will have will be v x only. Okay, there is no v y. Why? Because v y have been in here in this position vy will be equivalent to zero because it reached the maximum height so height is contained in y is this so that's why uh, maximum height is vy equals to zero okay so in the next part okay you can see uh, this is the v and also you can have vx is going to this way and right now vy is going down Okay, and lastly, you can have okay, uh, <clears throat> okay, actually, it should be here. Okay, we still have Vx and Vy. Okay, so this one is V. So you can easily say that uh, V not X, okay. Uh, which probably equivalent to v not cos theta will be the same as vx okay because in here we already said vx is what vx is equivalent to v not x so therefore we know how about vx here yes v not x this one is also v not x this one is also v not x this one is also v not x so every every single velocity in x exists is equivalent to v not x why? Because it doesn't change. The velocity is also always the same. That's why we can use a constant acceleration. Okay? But for Vy, you can see that uh, uh, the first time, Vy is V not Y. Okay? So when they projected to the air, Vy now, uh, v, uh, there is no V not Y, but it becomes Vy. And what is Vy? Vy is, remember, V not Y minus GT. Okay, so that should be here. And that should give here V not Y minus GT because this is VY. <coughs> okay, in the middle part where VY equals to zero. So this is the indicator of 
uh, what's happening during motion in two dimensions. Okay, so let's take a look at what uh, uh, the, the examples that I told you before about the golf. Okay, a golf ball. Okay, we have golf that we launch here. Launch, so V not at uh, how many? 30 meter per second at theta equivalent to 30 degree. So when you have theta inside the motion, so you can easily uh, detect that this question is a projectile motion. It's not involved because it involves angle. Okay, when the motions have angles, so definitely, okay, it will give you uh, projectile motion. Okay, because no other motions that will have uh, angle. Okay, for example, uh, like we do, uh, like say uh, x axis only involve uh, x axis, uh, and if the free fall, we only involve uh, y axis. But when you do have angle, so definitely, okay, we must use us uh, simultaneously to axis at one time. Okay. So in here, we have golf ball. Calculate the horizontal. Look at the first question. Okay, first question asks you about calculate the horizontal and vertical. Okay, component of V naught. Okay, meaning that what this question asks you about V. What kind of V naught we want to find? We have to find V naught x. Because it involves horizontal. Horizontal of what? Horizontal. So meaning that what is V naught here? Okay. This is V naught X and this is V naught Y. Okay, you have V naught X and V naught Y. So horizontal means V naught X, so definitely. So V naught cos theta. How many? 30 cos 30, so you will get 25.98 meter per second. And how about Vy? Okay, so V not Y is equivalent to V not sine theta, where 30 sine 30 is equivalent to 15 meter per second. So that's how you answer the problem. Okay. So that's A. Part B, the question asks you about the velocity. You calculate the velocity at the height. At the height of 5 meters above ground. Okay, so let's uh, continue later because it's Azan.
Okay, so let's continue on the <coughs> this part. Velocity at the height of five meters above ground. So you can look at the, the questions. It, it only involves velocity. Okay, the question is only asking about velocity. Okay, so <coughs> in this type of questions, uh, please remember to find the keywords of horizontal or maybe vertical because the horizontal means x and the vertical means y. But if the only part is the only, they only give velocity, so meaning that we should know that velocity means velocity. Because velocity uh, in this case will involve, okay, uh, Vx square plus with Vy square. Okay, so we should understand what is Vx and what is Vy at what? At 5 meters. Okay, because 5 meters now is the height. Height means what? X ataupun Y. Height. Y. Y. Okay. So, 5 meter means, the height of 5 meters means uh, it involves Y. So, how to get Vx and Vy? So, Vx is equivalent to V not X. Why? How, how do I know Vx equals to V not X? According to this one. Okay. Vx will only involve V not X. <clears throat> okay. So how about the V dot X? V dot X is the same 30 cos 30. So it's equivalent to 25.98 meter per second. And how about VY? VY is equivalent to V dot Y minus GT. Okay, it, because it doesn't involve V dot Y alone. It involves V dot Y minus GT because uh, the ball is, uh, the, the, the golf ball is actually uh, in the air. Okay, so how to do it? V not y, 30, sine 30, okay, minus with 9.8 times with <clears throat> T, 5. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so we, uh, instead of losing Vy minus, minus equivalent to V not y minus GT, okay, so maybe you can write down as <clears throat> uh, y equivalent to, okay, Okay, y is equivalent to, <clears throat> so uh, is, if I try to use Vy equals to V not Y minus GT, then I may have a problem. Why? Because the question doesn't give you T. So, alam ni tak ada T pun. So, macam mana kita nak solvekan T? Okay, so that's why I cannot use V not Vy equals to V not Y minus GT. So, instead of this equation, we should use Okay, as another set of equations, maybe you can use this kind of y or maybe this kind of y. Okay, so please try to not involve t yeah, when you're dealing with this kind of equation. So maybe you can use by instead of by, so uh, equals to v not y minus gt. So maybe you can use vy square equals to v not y square minus 2g delta y. <coughs> So in this case, 30 sine 30 square minus with 2, 9.8. Look at the value. Eh? Look at how I, I try to punch in the calculator. And delta y is uh, uh, 5 meters. Okay, Because 5 minus 0 is equivalent to 5. So the answer should be equivalent to 11.26 meter per second. Okay. So try to bring in the, all the values. So V equals to square root of 25.98 square plus 11.26 square. So we can actually get, let's look at the math. Okay, the answer should be equivalent to 28.32 meter per second. <clears throat> so that will give you the answers for this question. Right? And <clears throat> look at the, the, sec, the third equation is the maximum height and the coordinate at that point. The maximum height and the coordinate of that point. So just look at this uh, height. <clears throat> okay. Maximum height. So you can easily uh, state that uh, using this kind of equation, 
that vy square equals to v not y square minus 2g delta y. So <clears throat> using the same equation, v not y is 30 uh, uh, sine 30. So we get 15, okay, minus with 2 times 9.8 times y. So you will get 11.47. So yes, you, uh, the coordinate system will involve x and y. So how to get x? So how to get x? <clears throat> so please, you have to measure, okay? Because when you have a certain <clears throat> problem like this one, okay? So the maximum height is here, okay? The maximum height is here. So at this point, so you should find where, uh, what is the time here? So in order to do that, you need to well, use this kind of equation because at maximum height, Vy equal equivalent to zero like this. Okay, I already cancelled Vy. So Vy equals to zero, equivalent to V not Y minus GT. And after that, <clears throat> okay, I try to bring this T that will equivalent to 1.53. And after that, afterwards, I take this uh, 1.53 seconds into this kind of equation in order to find 39.72 meters. So therefore, the, uh, the coordinate is 39.72, 11.47. Okay, <clears throat> so, so we will stop here. Okay, uh, we will continue later during your next, uh, your next, uh, during your next class so stay tuned and we try to continue uh, watching the videos maybe you can get uh, uh, much more uh, information and knowledge uh, by uh, and of course uh, look at the other informations uh, i try to re I remind you about the quiz okay you will be taking quiz uh, <clears throat> this week okay Week, week three, okay, the topic will be only on tutorial one. Okay, tutorial one. Okay, tutorial one will involve chapter one. Okay, so stay tuned for the announcement. And of course, uh, uh, please make sure that everybody uh, study and of course do some revisions. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. So I think we we'll stop here. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.